is up everybody Jason aka Jester and today we're gonna do something a little bit different and I think you're gonna like it and it's gonna continue the $20 budget series so let's get outside let's get cooking and the meal that we're gonna make today is I believe going to fall into the category of our $20 budget cooking series you go to the store all the time you see the rotisserie chickens and they're delicious uh, you go to Costco you see them as well but they're always 12 or 15 or more dollars and uh, I can teach you guys how to make this for a lot cheaper and actually get more bang for your buck and flavor when it comes down to it. What we're going to be doing today is a lemon dill rotisserie style chicken. Because I thought it was important that I branch out a little bit. Uh, we happen to have a air fryer slash rotisserie in the house. And even if you don't have one of those, you can still put this in a pan and oven bake it. And it's going to be delicious. The only problem is, is the way we're going to do it today, it's actually going to take two days for the marinade to kind of sink in. I, I want to give it that much time anyway, and then we'll cook it uh, two days after this is being shot. So uh, I, I love doing this because it's continuity issues. Anyway, the chicken, as you can see, it's actually pretty cheap. $7.42 for this whole roaster bird. We got this at our local grocery store. This wasn't on sale or anything like that. So it's not going to cost you the 12 or 15 bucks you get when you buy the rotisserie. The marinade is real simple. It's just going to be some extra virgin olive oil. Most people have some of this laying around the house. If you don't, get you a big jug of this. Uh, per serving, it's going to cost you next to nothing. Uh, lemon juice. Uh, this is 100% lemon juice. We just have the off-brand here because you don't really need a name brand lemon juice. It's all just lemon juice. And then I went with the actual fresh dill. I think it's important to use a fresh ingredient, uh, especially this particular seasoning on it, uh, because it's just going to release flavor a lot better. So let me uh, get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna get the dill chopped and then I'll show you the process of the marinade going together and then we'll, uh, we'll show you what we're gonna do from there. Now that we've got our dill all nice and finely chopped up, I gotta tell you, it smells absolutely amazing. I know pickles are kind of a divisive thing, but uh, I love dill pickles, so I love the smell of dill. Uh, all you really wanna do is you wanna take your olive oil and I wanna make enough of this to where I can continue to brush this uh, over the course of the two days that we're gonna be doing it, maybe every six to eight hours i want to go in and i want to rebrush this solution on our chicken so it gets the best possible coverage and soak that we can get so we took probably a uh, half a cup or so and we're going to take about that of lemon juice and then we're just going to mix in some of this dill until it looks right i haven't measured anything like that another good little tool is to use a, a little uh little whisk because this will mix everything all together nicely and that's pretty much it guys this is the marinade you see it's coming out real nice uh, another good tool to have laying around and this is what we're going to use for the chicken is just going to be one of these brushes at first i didn't like these rubberized brushes uh, but i was getting a lot of strands in my uh, in my product when i was brushing stuff on from the old uh, hair brushes so these are really nice for food because you don't get that so let me get this all cleaned up and i'll show you we're going to apply this and then this is going to sit for a couple of days in the fridge, but it will be reapplied every oh, six or eight hours. Now that we've got everything cleaned up, all we're going to do is we're just going to apply this nice and liberal to our chicken. It, uh, it's going to look really, really good coming out of the rotisserie, I can almost promise you that. But the idea here is just give this enough time to soak. You want to try to get into all these nooks and crannies. We are probably going to tie up the, the actual wings. Uh, it looks like the legs are actually tucked into some of the uh, bottom fat there, so we'll probably leave that as is. But other than that, this thing is ready for the fridge, and uh, the next step will be for me to show you how to skewer it if you're going to put it in a rotisserie. If not, you could just directly bake this at about uh, 350 until it's at 165. But we're not going to do that. We're actually going to rotisserie. I'll show you that step here in just a second. Finally, after two days of waiting, I can actually get this thing on the spit now and we can get into our rotisserie. If you don't have a rotisserie, don't worry. You can do this at about 350 in your oven. It should take, oh, maybe an hour or two. Uh, probably just make sure it gets to 165. Uh, we're gonna be doing it in our IR uh, rotisserie air fryer slash all that good stuff. What I'm gonna try to do is poke down through these legs to hold those in place and then come out the front end. From there, all we really have to do is come back in with this piece. And actually I wanna put it on the other way so that we get a little more into the meat. Something like so. And then poke straight down through. Just like that. 
Now we can also go ahead and center this up a little bit by loosening this one and pushing the whole thing to the middle of the actual spit. And that's pretty much it. I will bring you some updates as it's cooking, show you a couple of pictures, and then I'll be back for the finale. And when all is said and done, this is gonna be your end product. It may not be quite so crispy if you did it in the oven, but uh, it should be pretty close. Of course, we've accompanied it with some oven roasted potatoes and some uh, sauteed green beans. Two of my favorite things. If you guys wanna see some side dishes and things, let me know in the comments because I'm more than happy to uh, show you guys how to do that because it's you know, pretty easy and uh, every good meal deserves some side dishes, so. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of content. If you did, think about giving the video a like and maybe subscribe because we've got tons more coming up. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.